One of the essence of Fashion Insider is to highlight talented creatives in Nigeria. People who make the best use of what we have in the country to make unique, trendy fashion statements and pieces. We're at Shadi at Alashoke today and we'll be talking about all things Ashoke, as well as how she's been able to put her brand on the map. My name is Jemima Osunde and this is Fashion Insider. I've looked around and everything looks absolutely amazing. Thank you. You're doing so well. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> Wait, you. Let's get into it. What birthed Shadi Atalashoki? Um, my love for colors and not liking the ordinary. Hmm. Interesting. Not liking the ordinary. Yes. What do you mean by not liking the ordinary? I mean, I've noticed that many of your pieces are modern. They are different. Is that intentional? Is that the direction you chose to go in? Yes, I'll say yes. I'll say yes, that's the direction I'd love to go. Because um, we try to, we see Ashoke as a very hard material and all of that. And we young people need to know that it is not. We need to funkify this whole thing <laughs> and all of that and things like that. So yeah, not like in the ordinary. I don't, I don't necessarily like to just like, okay, yes, you're a bride. You come to me and you're like, okay, you want to make Ashoke for your traditional wedding. We check your skin tone and then like, okay, if we're tending towards a particular color, I don't believe that everybody should use one color. I feel like creating color for each and everybody is actually the thing to do. Like what goes with your skin tone, even if we're almost the same shade, might not necessarily go with mine because we have this different undertones. So I would say if you were to do a gold, I could do like a rose gold for you. But if I was to do a rose gold, you kind of wash me out a bit. And we're almost like the same color. So I would like to maybe put like a brown in mine or like a burnt orange undertone or just to make it unique and different. Mm, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Mm. How long have you had Shadia Talashoke for? It will be three years in May. Just three so years? Just, yes. Maybe and in that time, you've been able to make a name for yourself. What would you say it is about you that makes you stand out from the others? I think attention to detail. Yeah, attention. Yes, attention to detail and putting the bride's voice first. Okay. Yes. I know your mom is also into, you know, fabric yes. making and the business of clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You worked with her for a while. Very long time. How All long? my life, like more than 20 years. It's like every school holiday, you have to be at the store walking your ass off. Oh, wow. Yes. Would you say that led to Shadi at Alasho Cape? It led to where I am today. Like, you know, Lagos Island is like craziness. So <laughs> you have to like attend to this person, match up colors for this person. I think that's where I found my love for colors. Because it's like, okay, you have like millions of people coming in and like, ah, get all of my billy, more like, you know, the way they are and all <laughs> yeah. of that. And you have to be, for you to sell, you have to give them something different, something nice mm -hmm. so that they keep coming back. So yes, working with my mom as as built Shadi at Alasho Cape. That's what I would say. That's really good. So yeah. we should... Thank mommy yes, later for that. Mommy. Yes, for that. Yes. Okay, so what materials go into the production of Asha Okay? Okay, and where do you source for these materials? So we source everywhere. We source everywhere. We source in Nigeria. I, if I'm looking for a particular color and I don't find it, I'll just call my connects everywhere to bring down the colors and all of that. But we source locally. We have loads of suppliers all over Ogun State, um, Isheri and all of that. Lo okay. Everywhere. And the materials you use are? The materials we use, we use silk, we use Crowntex, we use cotton. So different designs for different um, cotton or different material. Yes. Okay. Are they hand woven or do Everything you... is hand woven. Everything is hand woven. Everything from the scratch. So you are able to build up your colors. You're able to do whatever from the scratch. You're able to mix up like 10 colors to achieve a very nice, unique color. All from the scratch is built. That must 100%. take a while. How long it does it take? It does. It takes like two months just so we don't rush out stuff. Yes. For one set of Asha okay. Yes, eight weeks. To weave itself is about three weeks. But okay. then to design, to sew, to embellish and all of that. I like to two give a months. minimum of two months, yes. That is a lot of time. It isn't. <laughs> You'll be surprised. It time. isn't in my What's world. What's your definition of one set of Asha okay? Is it... Um, the ikpele and the gele, or is it, do you measure it per yard? How do you define one set of ashoke? So, um, one set of ashoke is irobuba gele ikpele. 
So the euros don't come in yak, they come in euro size. So there's this local BA thing that euro size must be two and a half yards. And then the buba is like one and a quarter or two and a half. Just depends on what you need. Okay, yeah. makes sense. You don't only make ash okay. Yeah. You're a designer. You make ready to wear pieces. How do you combine both worlds? What are the challenges you face as a national K producer and also a designer in Nigeria? Oh my God, like my face today, it's not <laughs> like, I am like... This is not your real face. This is not my real face. I'm like so freaked out. But yeah, it's, it's very challenging. It's exhausting, it's challenging. But then it's what I love to do. I think that's why I'm still holding on. Like, it's what I love to do. I don't let anything or whatever put me down or even try to like mess up with what that's I want to do. Yeah, yes. so it's it's crazy. Like nobody wants to walk. Nobody has the kind of ginger that you have. So you, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> I think that's all I can say. I also know not all your clients are based in Nigeria. So oh, how do you go about, are not. they're not. So mm -hmm. how do you consult with clients who, who are not even here in person? Okay, so if, when my brides, my brides are not here, we, we chat a lot. Like I, I'm a midnight chatter from like 12 to like three. I'm chatting with all brides and all of that, which is crazy. But yeah, that's what we do. So I give them like a template of what I need, like a measurement and I beg them on all of that to make sure they get good measurements because fit is everything. Without the right fit, the thing, without the right fit, we're not, we're joking. So they have to go to professionals to take it. Most of the time I go back and forth because I live in America as well. So most of the time, so the people that are there, they meet me up. If it's around the time that I'm there, yeah, there. so I do the measurement myself as well and all of that. So we, we work around it. You make it work. You have to make it work. You have to make it work. Your design evolution collection was featured in the Lagos Bride Fashion Week. Yes. First of its kind, if I'm to also <laughs> add that. How did that make you feel? Oh my God. Those people, I think, like, I don't know. I just have to give them hands. Uh -huh. I did not even know I could do it wrong way. And they're like, oh, yeah, you should do it. You can do it. I think it's when you get to some certain level in your life, you just, like, people tell you, like, oh, trust me, you can do that. And trust me, I did it. And I, well, I, it's, 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 so I, I, <laughs> well, I didn't believe it. People always say, oh, I'm like, oh, no, I'm not. Even till now, people say you're a designer. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you don't. So, yeah, we, we, we came up with, I, I just have, I have a lot of ideas in my head that, like, I need to bring out and I need to, I need people to appreciate. I need to, so with that, I just like, you know what, when they reached out to me and blah, 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 and I'm very last minute. So three weeks before the day and I'm like, okay, let's get to it. So I sketch out some things and I'm like, okay, this will cut, I, I sketch out more than 20 things. This will cut wow. it. Maybe place this blouse with this skirt, maybe place this with this. And you still have to still put it on the, what a bride can wear. Because it's a bridal show, you can, you don't want to go too crazy, yes. and because it's traditional, yeah. So you have to like step by step for them to appreciate the crazy one. So we had to like we we made it work. Yeah, you did. And we 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 saw it and we're proud of you. <laughs> what you. advice or nugget will you give to anyone who's watching this now who has intentions of going into the Ashoki business or just an entrepreneur in Nigeria? Oh my God, entrepreneurs in Nigeria, you guys are trying. I need. To <laughs> I was just say, just hold on, just hold on. God first, just pray about everything, and then trust me. When you have coffee in the morning, you'll be amazing. <laughs> coffee, <laughs> coffee, loads of coffee, you'll be amazing. All right. So yeah, be focused, and then you're good. Okay. I'm excited, guys, because I'm about to try on one of Shadia's pieces, yeah. the full regalia, gaily, ikbele, everything on deck. So let me know what you think about my outfit in the comment section. Also, don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Indani TV. Until the next episode, I'm Jemima, and this is Fashion Insider.